Hello again, everybody. This is Tricky Man 007 here. Um, back after a long time of taking a break doing game reviews. Um, here to review for you today a game called The Legend of Cage. Don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's a uh, it's a pretty well known NES game in terms of its crappiness. A lot of people know it's of its awful, you know, reputation. Um, made by Taito Corporation. The same people that made Bubble Bobble, interestingly. I don't know how a company as good as Taito making Bubble Bobble can make a piece of shit like this, but, I mean, hey, I guess everyone makes mistakes, right? Um, you play as Cage the Ninja, and uh, his girlfriend, the uh, princess, Kirihime, gets kidnapped by the ninja something or other. I don't know all those weird names. And uh, it's a pretty typical Mario and Princess Peach story. Um... It's interesting, in the arcade game, you actually had to rescue the princess once, and then again, a second time, in order to actually complete the game. And in this NES version that I'm playing, you have to actually rescue her three times. Ah, this uh, this is my first problem with the game right here. This music right here, you can't really hear it from, from at home where you're listening, but that beginning music right there, the frequencies of those notes are ear-piercingly high. Like, a dog whistle to a dog's ears is what that's like to a human's ears. They are terrible. That it hurts you. God damn it. It hurts your ears to listen to that. And I kid you not, it's terrible. Worst part of the game, in my opinion. Fuck! The second worst part of the game is definitely the controls. As you can see, I just died twice. Right off the bat. For no fucking reason. And you can see that, like, I can walk into, like, one of the ninja enemies, like, out of, like, you know, I can just, like, in the air, bump into them or on the ground, and I'll be fine. And then other times, I'll just die. It doesn't make sense to me. The hit detection is really, it's, it's very faulty. Um, another faulty thing, you can only throw two ninja stars at once. Like, if you're, like, such an awesome ninja, you can, like, jump, like, fucking off trees and, like, jump, like, all these crazy heights in midair like this. Like, jumping over, like, buildings and trees and shit. Like, why can't you throw more than two fucking throwing stars at a time? Look at this shit, I just jumped from fucking tree to tree. That's ridiculous. Ugh, well, no. Nah. Again, the music is just unbearable. Having to listen to this is just, I just want to mute this shit. But, uh, I want you guys to hear, like, can you, are you listening? Like, listen to this music. Listen to that. Dude, come on, that's awful. And I just fucking died, motherfucker. Game over. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna play one more to show you guys some other things I um, have problems with. Um, another thing that's, um, very annoying. Oh, Jesus, this again. Uh, look at that, a flying ninja, yeah, that's, that's cool, that's real. Fucking stupid shit. Oh, another... God damn it. God damn it. Fuck. Another thing that's pretty annoying is the, uh, the little sword that you have. A little ninja sword. You see me flailing around there. It looks like a stupid sausage or something. That's that's your sword. Your sword. Your ninja sword. Basically, your sword is useless in this game. You can pretty much only use your, your little throwing stars to do any damage. Unfortunately, you can only use, you know, two of them at a time. And aiming them is harder than fucking, I don't know trying to pee in a toilet when you're super hammered it's, it's literally impossible and uh i don't know There's some shit about this game that really just fucking makes no sense at all I'm trying to find a power up here but this game is just makes it so hard to just do anything I'm trying to find a power up to show you something but uh yeah just look how high your ninja jumps like that's not normal yo ninja on steroids like what the hell Oh, this is this is a funny part. Check this out. So I just got a power up, and apparently this power up makes your ninja go on some sort of mushroom trip or something. Look at that! Like, what the hell's going on with my ninja right now, man? There's like, like I, I, the first time I got that power up, I thought like my my ROM, like my emulator, was like screwed up. But it's a power up. Look at that! What the fuck? Now it's gone. But like, I just don't see the purpose that that power up even serves. Like, did they even? Was that just in there for fun or? Like, what the hell was, what's the point of that shit? No point of that shit. I'm sorry, I just cannot get over the ridiculousness, the inordinately high jumping ability of our, of our hero here. Like, look at that, what the fuck, man? Look at that shit. Yeah, I got killed by a fireball, a ninja fireball. Yeah, ninjas can use fireballs. I thought ninjas fought with ninja swords, you know, and ninja shuriken, not, you know, ninja fireballs. Stupid shit. Oh, there's a power up. Alright, so you see I got that power up, now I turned green and my throwing stars got a little bigger. 
uh, hopefully I can find another power up. Show you the next uh, level you get to. If you get another power up, you turn yellow, I think, and you uh, you can run a little faster, which isn't really that helpful. Oh, nice, there's one. God damn it! Fuck, man. Because I can't fucking control myself in the air. I couldn't go back in there and get it. It's a good thing it's still here. Okay, now I'm a yellow ninja. I can run a little faster and my stars are the same size. Like, big deal. Okay, watch this part. This is trippy. What? Are you seeing this? What the fuck is this? Are there just dead ninjas raining from the sky? Like, what the fuck is this? It's gotta be the weirdest thing I've ever seen in a video game. Whose idea was this? Seriously. And then it just goes back to normal, like nothing. Was that, did that even just happen? Like, what the fuck was that? This game is just, just ridiculous. Oh, another power up. Too bad I can't get it because the controls in this game suck. <sighs> fuck. God damn it. Whatever, game over. Fucker. Anyways. That's the Legend of Cage for you. It's a bad game. Do not play it. Avoid it at all costs unless you uh, unless you want your brain to scream for mercy at the awful sounds you will hear and the awful things you will see. So, avoid it. This is Tricky Man signing out for now. It's good to be back. See you guys.